Hey everyone, hoi allemaal. Zo so in de. Oh, So in today's video I'm going to be doing uh, another garden tour. Uh, it's the 4th. Yes, it's the 4th of June today, 2021. Uh, and the garden is making huge progress to being green, lush and full of flowers. Uh, so I wanted to document it. Um, I'm, I am going to be doing it differently than last time. Last time I didn't talk. Uh, I just filmed, did slow motions, uh, well, an overview in, well, not slow motion, but in a slower pace and then some close-up shots of all the plants. Uh, this time I am going to do the, the slow overview and then uh, in the close-ups I will talk about some of the plants and show you specific things and tell you specific things that I'm uh, really enjoying uh, this time of year and yeah spider uh, yeah that's about it I will also put the names of the areas on screen when I do the slow overview um, and if you have any questions about that area, if you want to know a specific plant name. Uh, first off, uh, there on my Instagram, i am lately been doing a lot of pictures of flowers that are ready to burst, I'm calling the series. Uh, and then I also give the name, specific names of those plants uh, in the description box. So, well, check out my Instagram. Uh, first, if you have a particular flower or plant that you would like a name of, because some I've already done uh, on there. Uh, and if not, um, I will. Uh, you can uh, put uh, your question down below, of course, and I'll try to answer uh, as best as I can. Since. I am collecting all the tags that I from the plants that we are planting in the garden ourselves but my mother-in-law also did a lot of planting on her own and I don't know all the names of those plants I know the general name but not specific uh, varieties unfortunately but hey that's life so I'm now on the rooftop terrace or the balcony or so I'll start here and then I'll take you outside to all the other uh, different areas.
garden maintenance video and I linked all the or I put all the names of the plants in the description uh, this jasmine is doing good it took a while but it's putting on new growth and its neighbor died sadly but hey that's life The feeding station is getting some good use. Um, this is the next bin with some salvia in it. And uh, clematis, which I pruned during that video, during the garden maintenance video, and it's doing really well. It's putting on a lot of new growth, so I'm happy with that. And the salvia is flowering or starting to. This is another one with the same two salvia varieties in it. And the, another clematis which has some drought issues. We were not on point in watering. Another clematis, which I also pruned on. And it's also coming back nicely. And we still need to put a plant uh, in front of it. Here are another couple of clematis. This one is flowering, gorgeous flower. And this one is also flowering and the bees are already on it. In this case, bumblebees. I think they're a little bit too soon to get the bulk of it, but he's trying to get in. Or she, I don't know. This clematis, uh, well, it did survive, but I think with the winter it uh, died back a lot, unfortunately, but it's uh, producing some good shoots, so not too bad and also again need to add in another plant this honeysuckle is also doing well first flowers are well it's making its flowers same goes for this lupin and then this honeysuckle is flowering at this moment. As you can see, gorgeous colors. <laughs> and then the latest addition to the rooftop terrace is these uh, three uh, dahlias. And uh, this is lavender. And this is a plant that still needs some growing before it can go in the ground. But the dahlias here in these pots are doing very nice there are some side shoots coming after I pinched them a couple of weeks ago I think now and with this heat uh, they are doing very well same goes for the lavender this honeysuckle another lavender this honeysuckle is not doing the best but it's making a comeback. It got hit with some lice last year or the year before and it still hasn't recuperated but there are some flowers on its way and the, this is the sage as in the herb but um, and it's also flowering, or one of it is leaves, at least. And this, um, these are another two salvias.
This is the most empty bin. This is a scabiosa pin cushion flower, I believe. And I planted some um, smelly pea, smelling pea, what do you call it? Latirus, I don't know, but something is eating them. But they seem to be surviving at least three of them. There were more, but hey. On to the next area. yellowing and leaves but it's now really taking off I think because of the heat we've been getting and the rest is filled with a lot of allium so we have these four which are not flowering yet but they are coming 
and I think this one is the prettiest one that we have because it's got different levels it has the lower flowers and some taller spikes and it's big but not too big but it still does make a statement we had two more but those died unfortunately so and the other alliums these are two globe monsters or three globe monsters i believe which are being heavily visited by all the bees behind there number 10 is Campanula Caroline which is also coming along nicely three of those and oh let me show you in the back there let me zoom in we have three anemones Japanese anemones which are white flowers there and then We have these massive ones, which are basically the same height as me now. And the Acer Negundo Flamingo is also putting on some green growth and I'm hoping this year it'll put on some real growth because it will have a full season ahead of it and some more branches. And you can see a little bit of pink, but the more new growth it gets, the pinker it'll be. You can see it much better here. And I'm also hoping that it'll grow a little bit taller. I, I want some height from it and some fullness, but this area is making me very happy. A shot from the, well you could say the front. So again, the border with the allium, lupins, butterfly bush behind, which also will grow. And the alliums behind there. And we are thinking, well, we are going to, but we're not sure what we're going to put in here as an extra layer. I'm thinking a ground cover of some sort, but I'm not sure yet. This is the magnolia tree area 
that you can see there and I would say I am at this time very happy with well I'm very happy with this area since it really is filling in and it has some beautiful colors and a lot of flowers and we we in the last video we added in these and some salvias back there and everything is growing along these alliums are doing very well some more alliums uh, this is an, a type of salvia that one as well with some beautiful blue flowers or purple or hmm. Depends on how you look at it. That's a salvia which is also coming along. Geranium, some leftover spring bulbs, some daffodils, tulips. A lily which is on its way to flower. No idea what this is but the flowers were heavily visited by all the bees. Um, this is also an allium millennium I believe the Brunera it's on its last leg and I think after this week I'm going to cut down all the flowers to give more room for the bigger leaves which are coming along those are the salvias which we planted last time lovely pink flower that's a phlox some um, epimedium i believe or something in the range of that another geranium same one as the one back there another type of allium with lovely flowers another lily no idea no idea and back in there we have an acanthus which you can zoom in a little bit which you can see the flower stems coming i see two of them from here And then of course the wisteria. No need to zoom in anymore. So let me. Yes. Some hostas which I thought died, but everyone came back for me. Still a couple of flowers left in the magnolia. The, this columbine is having is showing some gorgeous color. The Eucharas in here as well. And this Salvia Argentina or Argentea, something like that, is like putting on a whole lot of flowers. And I'm still secretly hoping that it's going to be a perennial because I love it. But if it's not, I will collect some seeds from this one and save them. And I will start them from seed next year. This seed and patch is also taking shape. Oh. With some gorgeous flowers and filling in nicely which is my goal so that this is one spot I do not have to weed from this angle it's very lush and green looking and the, um, the first slow-mo shot I was sitting right in front of the gate over there and last time you can look beautifully through it it was like a window not anymore because it's filling out or filling in I should say 
my tripod and shoes since these stones are pretty hot but the grass is nice some um, Christmas hellebores that's the word I was looking for hellebores columbine and again the magnolia <laughs> some plants that I started uh, from bare roots and the dahlias which I pre-started as well so we added in plants here in the front that hydrangea was already here but we moved it it was more in here so we moved it back there and a lot more plants were added and uh, there are dahlias back there and whoa as you can see the dahlias hostas gypsum a hibiscus and this lupine is like huge or at least huge flower stalks and it's living its life here we have another compass with the flower stalks on its way and The rhododendrons. This one is still blooming. The other one I removed all the flower all the flower heads or however you want to call it. It was just done blooming and yeah. That's an hollyhocks or hollyhock single. And behind there we have all the dahlias, which are like the ones uh, on the rooftop. They are growing, well I wouldn't say like crazy, but they are growing a lot. And this ooh, bush is full, filled with white flowers and the bees are all over it. try and get a close-up shot. So this is all the dahlias which are growing very well. A lot of side shoots. So yeah. And the foxglove is also flowering. This is all uh, reseeded from one plant that we put in last year I believe. But now, for all the bees. There's so many I can't even count. I hope you can see some. But they are all over it. Which is so nice to see. 
and the uh, ligustrum let me see ah, here is also getting ready to flower It smells nice too. It has a strong smell. Didn't realize that. A bee action. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before I knew Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew with pink uh, on the new leaves which is a salix something flamingo no idea we also have a lot of alliums in here in the fovea which we trimmed down trimmed back really hard which was needed since it was like a it was a slug hotel literally the slugs were loving their life in there some alliums Peenish, peenish. These ones are done flowering. I already cut some back. Some more peonies. A hydrangea, which is looking a bit yellow. I added some fertilizer for that. Another peony. Japanese anemone, Euonymus. Japonica albo marginalis I learned recently and this is the flamingo as you can see the new growth is light and uh, pink some alliums below it and some poppies one two and there's another one back there And it, it's getting ready to show us its color, or its flower, I should say. You can see, focus please, or not. Yes, you can see it's starting to open. That's monk's hood, I believe. Again, the nephovia. Another poppy, allium, and um, no idea what's it called. And this is a hibiscus, which we also trimmed down, and it's leafing up pretty nicely. I'm also planning on adding some more plants along here, but I'm not sure what. I'm thinking ground cover, but I'm not sure what this Nefovia, how big it will get now. Since we trimmed it, because, well, where the cocoa shells were, it was like covering this whole area. So I'm hoping 
it'll maintain a, a much a little bit smaller footprint so we can add some more flowers because this is way too much cocoa shells for me but it does help with weed suppression and um, keeping the soil moist this euonymus is also getting ready to flower as you can see and a view from this side we were just over there and we're going to go to that corner next but <laughs> everything is looking good On to the next, which is right there. pollinators are loving it of course and it's it's gorgeous color it's like I would say between red and pink in my opinion at least let me see if I can get up closer in the shade mm. they start out dark and then they lighten as they well as they age This is a spirea. Which is also looking good. That's a uh, fuchsia, which we transplanted from the previous area to here. And it's also doing really well. It's loving its life. Back there is also Sparvia, but uh, some moles have been coming through the garden and wreaking havoc. That's one of them. That's a bunch of um, well weeds, which I thought I got rid of, but apparently not. Oops. But uh, since they are a sign of depletion in the garden, I'm going to leave them there to rot and so that it so that they can give back this is another um, lilac tree which is we also transplanted recently I will link that video and it's looking good I did cut off all the flowers because I didn't like the look of them. But yeah, this area is looking good. From this area, so in the corner, I will walk through the next one, which is by this high fence and not a lot has changed since the last time. So this, the same two plants are still in here. So this is a Lander lilac. This is a a U, I believe, or something like that. And the only thing that we added, well, I added 
the most recent addition is a lot of seeds but the other addition is around this corner I added in some hydrangeas it's a, yes some hydrangeas in here and did I did prune them because they were well, they were flopping over and needing support and I was like I don't need hydrangeas that need support so I chopped off all the weak stems and now I am left with well still some weak stems I see but I will trim them later and this is the newest addition with a lot of well there are sunflower seeds this is sunflowers which I did not start from seed well inside this is one I did do and I'm I've added in a lot of annual seeds in here. I just tossed them and basically just dumped out a lot of the packages that I have, emptying the, the storage. So that's me. So a lot of seeds. This one I think is gorgeous looking with the dark leaves and the dark stem. And again, scattered around our seeds from various plants, poppies, um, cornflower, I believe, some lupins. They are everywhere. So this is the spy uh, lilac, sorry. And these are the lupins and some more back there. which are doing good and I'm just I cannot wait to see this all fill in with flowers and high sunflowers since I added in a sunflower which can grow to two and a half meters which is huge but in hindsight I should have planted more but yeah that's for next year so we have a wall of sunflowers and the other plant which i think is a yew is also taking off a lot of new growth i thought it died because in the center there there was a stem which was dying but it was the stem that we used well i didn't but when we were transplanting it we needed some leverage and that um, stem was the one which was used but we broke it apparently so it was slowly dying but not a sign that the whole plant was dying just that branch but this one is looking nice and fresh I think on camera it looks better than in real life but hey so a little overview so along the wall a lot of sunflowers and there the hydrangeas and we came from that corner as you can see I am well pooped <laughs> it's hot it was supposedly going to be overcast today but warm and I was like yeah that's the perfect time for me to film a garden uh, tour but unfortunately there are some clouds they just not are where I needed them to be but unfortunately I do not have time to film, film in the evening because it's going to rain apparently and in the weekend I'm also busy so I was like today is the only day so I do apologize for the lack of shade so you can really see all the colors well but it is what it is and if nobody likes it I will like it because I will have some progression shot shots of the garden which I love and I love to see um, and yeah everything is filling in nicely coming together and the vision is starting to get there it's just a matter of time patience and more weeding which I hope by the time next year most of the areas I've filled in nicely don't have a lot of weeds or at least 
the perennials will mur well not murder the weeds but make sure that they don't have a chance so yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, and i will see you uh, in my next video Dag allemaal. Bye everyone.